in a world like none other. There comes one man in search of plastic, in search of cons. He is known as Plasticon. Join him as he brings toys from another dimension to a household near you. Hey guys, Plastigon here. Nice to see ya. I'm here to talk about reproduction sticker label sets. Particularly, I know that we have toy hacks out there. And they do stuff for G.I. Joe, they do stuff for Transformers, they also do a few things recently with um, Star Wars thanks to Toy Ploy. If you guys don't know who Toy Ploy is, I highly suggest you guys check him out. He does a lot of toy restoration videos and fixes for things that are getting harder and harder to find out there to repair for us collectors. But the thing I really want to get into is the fact that we don't have many people doing reproductions of Generation 2 Transformer decal sets. But, I ran across somebody on eBay. And on eBay, this man has actually been crazy enough to do an entire set for an unreleased Generation 2 Motormaster and the Stunticons. The reason I'm bringing this up is very Snap Sales does a lot. I'm talking a lot of decal sheets to things that we're not getting reproductions from from toy hacks. Um, they got Thunderclash, Rotostorm, even a prototype G2 Protectobot set as well. Um, I know if you guys have been following me for a while I've done my own version of these and I'm pretty close to exactly what he has here except for these are official sticker sheets that you can purchase from him on his eBay store. Um, the guy's got a lot on here and some of the things that really really draw in the people are I would say stuff like Starscream. Starscream's decals for his wings and these two decals here normally get worn away pretty bad. Um, especially with your older ones. These are slightly different than the original ones, but I've seen a lot of people just use the original decals for the bottom portions. But the ones I'm really talking about are for the wings and also for the um, cockpit area right next to the canopy. That's what these two go to. It's cool to see somebody actually doing reproduction decals. I myself was thinking about doing this until I actually ran across this guy, and this guy has been doing a lot of these. He's based out of Australia, so you guys will end up having to pay probably a little bit of money for these decal sheets, but I mean, come on, the guy's even done, you know, Megatrons. He's even done Megatrons stickers, which is nice. And he's also done a little bit of the variation ones as well on here where it's got the little bit of um, that coral color in the actual Decepticon emblem and without it because I do know that was a variant that happened during the line. There were a few where that was just slightly different but that was about the only running change difference between them. Um, it's cool to see this actually getting some kind of love. You guys are into Diaclone, he's got the Diaclone ones, but I primarily want to bring out like the stuff like even for your European generation 1.5, I still like to call it generation 2 decal sheets. This is for Stalker, which honestly I don't think a difference between Stalker and um, the Machine Wars Soundwave would be any different. But it's cool to see these decals being redone. He has a full set here for your, accel your accelerators. 
I'm just plugging this guy because this is absolutely phenomenal that there's somebody out there that's took the love and the time to start creating the stickers more of a appropriate way I myself started doing it I'm not not the fastest at it some people are a little better at it but it's cool to see this now you guys are probably wondering why has not toy hacks done this the reason being and I do know this for a fact because I was on a podcast with um this was years back back when they were known as rapper labels not toy hacks the toys for Generation 2, most of the stickers, same thing with Machine Wars and some of the Euro um, Transformers out of that line, most of them didn't have the decals on sheets. They were already pre-applied to the toy. So if a toy has a sticker, it's already applied. You guys know how difficult it is to remove a sticker. And sometimes if that sticker gets worn or messed up, there's no way you're going to be able to replace it. And the cool thing is, is this guy's actually just hooked the time out to do this. And one of the craziest things I have seen on here is the fact that he's even doing stuff like Galaxy Shuttle. He's even done a Grandis set I saw on here at one time, and I might be able to find it to show it to y'all. Um, this guy's got so much on here. So look up Verdi Snap Sales on eBay, and the guy's got an enormous array of decal sheets for things that Toy Hacks is not able to do yet. It would be cool to see this guy reach out to Toy Hacks and have that be more of a apparent thing that we can get more worldwide versus just being in the in um, Australia based. But and most people probably don't know this, Toy Hacks is actually based out of Canada. So it's cool to see this. This is something I ran across just recently and I have shared it on my Facebook group but I wanted to address the elephant in the room and that is certain transformers that are not getting decal sheets as a rep re like just redone I know it's extremely hard to find a very very minty one especially with G2 because G2 you either you find it in a box that's you know been picked through or whatever if you're at a con or you get some that might have a couple stickers that are not in the best condition even at conventions sometimes even at a, a, um, a toy collection shop or anything and there's times that you just find them out in the wild and they're messed up or they're not complete and half the stickers are knackered I've seen ones where the Optimus Prime trailer was fine, but the sticker was so faded that it needed to be replaced. And this guy's got you covered. He's got everything on here. The reason, like I said, I'm plugging him is because this guy needs a lot of um, notability in the community. There's a lot of people out there that really get into redoing their toys to clean them up. Some of them will redo the chrome and such. Sometimes they will repair a broken piece or replace that piece with said other part. I mean, when it comes to like Generation 2 Jazz, there are no reproduction stickers for it. Although it's literally the same toy as G1, except for the one little hole that's drilled into the top of the can, the top of the the car for the gun to actually go. There are no reproductions for this stuff, unless you try to get the chug stuff, the things that they did later on, and try to use those stickers to redo some of them. They don't, they just don't work because they're not the same scale. They're literally different, they're cut differently because they go on different parts, different parts do different things. But it's cool to see somebody actually coming out and making these because this is something that the community really needs right now especially for generation 2 and your euro stuff that's getting harder and harder to replace decals on or even find a really decent 
one that wasn't messed up from the beginning. Some of us, when we were kids, put stickers on incorrectly. There are a few that are Euro, and there are a very, very few that are Generation 2 that actually had decal sheets, but those are even getting harder to find out there, even if it's a complete set. And sometimes those older decals don't actually stick the way you want them to. Sometimes they're actually falling off. And although I've used glue sticks to reapply some of those kind of stickers, it works okay. But if you're not able to salvage or say you don't even have the original stickers, it's nice to have somebody out there that can create and build us some more so that way we can actually enjoy the toys and display them the way we want and even show them to the younger generation of what they appropriately should have looked like. But this has been Plascon. This has been a quick little thing talking about some awesome stuff that I have come across and I'll end up having plenty more coming your way because I do have a lot more little talking points like this. Um, I addressed the whole issue with how toys are kind of failing in the toy industry and I'm going to probably be talking more on the lines of a lot of this kind of thing because I, I really think when it comes to preserving toys, making things available for everybody, not just for the super rich or the super lucky, it should be available for everybody and this is a good way of putting a little bit of life back in those toys that would just end up in a bin somewhere and just not get half the love that they should get because they're just old beat and there's no way to re restore them. Anyway, this has been Plascon. This is me rambling. I'll see you guys around next time. Peace out, y'all. See you around. Bye! If you like this content, please like, share, and subscribe. I also have YouTube membership and Patreon, so feel free to sign up for those. I'll be doing shoutouts on those for those who donate toward the channel. Thank you guys for y'all. Thank you all for your support, and I appreciate everybody that has been taking their time out to support the channel and check out what I do. This has been Plastic. This is me. Sign off. Peace out, y'all. See you around. Bye.